Eleven King. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Eleven King. En route. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. Oh, okay. I was gonna go to the bowling alley, and they just told us to come back to the police station. Twelve twenty-four. So you know we're going fast once again in this case. It's only been like an hour, maybe an hour and thirty minutes on this case. And we're getting to the bottom of this. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. He's downstairs. Interview room number two. Is anybody in there? Nobody's in there. No interview is needed, I guess. Maybe they found something. Are you drunk, mister? And they don't want anybody to know. They, want, they might want to keep this a secret. Could be the serial killer back at it. Leaving another clue. Or maybe he's threatening something. Here we go. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? It's all about access, Phelps. You're married. So yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. Every cutscene, Rusty is just making sure we get demonetized out here. <laughs> we got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. You can drive. Let me pose a question. Depends. What's it got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a the slammer ever found out. Scene is looking pretty chill. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business, Florence. You got a guy who works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Because that's what I was about to say. Look at that. It's hiding over here. How do we get back there? Tiernan! LAPD! Oh, he's making a run for it. He's guilty. 
He's gonna make it to the car! Wow, where's our car? Are there. we close to the car? Oh, there it is. Okay. What are you waiting for? Get after him! We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Wow, this man... These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Belt, you gotta get me closer! There you go. He let it fly. Hit it! Clean this all off the road. Finally, we got a fast run. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! I mean, who wants to wait around for the cops? If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. Oh! That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. And look at him, he's gonna stay in the car as well. They never get out of the car. Hands behind your head! See, when you see other people running, you think it's one of, right? It's him, but they just stay in the car. <laughs> All right, so we're pulling up. And I think it was apartment six or something, or 20. No, maybe it was six. It is six. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Because I do remember the lady on the phone saying apartment six. All right, so. Damn, it's dark as hell in here. Yo, this place is dark. Damn. They need to pay the light bill. This man lives in a dump. All right, apartment six, I'm guessing it's upstairs. We don't know what floor it's on, right? It just said six. So who knows what floor is, is that the sixth floor? Okay, rooms five and six. Oh, my bad, we went the wrong way. Hey, <laughs> give that guy a mat. Where are you going? I went to the right when I had to go left. Look at that cheese. I'm like, where's six at? Come on, cuh, that's a noob move. <laughs> I need some mangoes tonight. We gotta get the we gotta get the brain right. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Terrible shame. Means there's nobody to let us in. You wanna do the honors, Phelps? Yeah, I've already done the honors. Kick that door in like a boss. Alright, let's check around this place. Okay, something just made a hell of a noise, right? What was that? I'm pressing, it's not showing anything. Maybe that's just the music then. It's not telling me that there's something there. It's just the music. Oh, here we go. So what is this? Not much help. Anatomy of power. And what's this? Ooh, we got a note. That's the bottom half of the note. I think that's the divorce note. Take long. Let's just go down to make sure he gets the clue. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Okay, so this was her mother. I thought it was going to be the dad, right? Because remember it said, little my little girl, but it was actually the mother that wrote this letter that's trying to get her out of this situation. Interesting. We're not going to take that. Look at that. She, take that with you. Actually, maybe we need it for evidence. Fundamentals yeah. of critical theory. So this man is reading about power and theory. He's cheesing. Ooh, we got some blood. And we got a pipe. All right, which way do we hold it? There we go. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. 
He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Maybe we have to go like this to get up there. We gotta keep going to the roof. Oh, Solve who's that this? big case. Oh. A skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. All right, so we got some more stairs. It looks like that's going to be the way to the top. Make sure we're not missing any good as you never know. And let's get it. A pigeon coop. That's not allowed. Or maybe it is allowed. Look at that. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Oh, he threw the bird. Hey, McCaffrey, sit Not down and we'll talk. Wow. He's making a run for it. Can my partner get downstairs in time? We're behind him. Oh, he turns on the jets. He's going up the steps. Wow. He doesn't have a vehicle. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Here we go. I'm tapping X. It's not working right now. We just got to run slow then, I guess. We see him. No crossovers yet. Wow. Go faster. Turn on the jets. We're hopping this. Nice. Give it up. LAPD. That's not his car. We're going to tap. We're tapping like a boss. I'm tapping. We're right there. Get him. Wow. X is not working. Oh, here we go. Tackle him. Turn on the jets. 99 speed. God. McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Wow. What a dive. What a tackle right there. Holy moly. You need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. Ooh. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Terranen set him up. You don't think that old Jameson could have done it, do you? Nah, whoever did it. At least it wasn't that Dahlia. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. Can you drive to this one? Uh, I think we have 103 and to modernize America if you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case in hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. So what a day. Now it's 7.22 p.m. We've been working all day on this case. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is not one, McCaffrey is not two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Here goes that cheese again where we got to charge somebody. Somebody's going down. Right, so somebody could be completely innocent, but we got to charge somebody with this crime. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Wow, he's lying right out of the gate. That's ah, tough. He never knew Evelyn. All right, so let's just look over this again. Let's think about this. Yeah, so none of this stuff has this guy's name on it. So let's just go bad cop. Sounds like half an answer to me, Ternan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Ooh, that's none of your business. Wow. Victim's book found. Interesting. Victim's book found. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and 
laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. And he is straight-faced. Wow. Look at that. Straight-faced blinking. Because last time, obviously, he was lying. But this time, he's not lying. Hmm. He's telling the truth. She, but why would... Maybe this guy is a master actor. Because, right? That last question... We said we accused. Well, we didn't accuse him, but we we went bad cop. You should let me go now. I've done nothing wrong. Right. We thought that okay, he's lying, but then it turned out that he didn't even answer the question. So, <laughs> ah. so who knows what the, does this mean? He's telling the truth or what? Holy moly, this is getting tough now. Ah, it's tough. So normally when I see this, I think that. They tell you the truth, right? He's looking straight. Nothing's moving. But he just deceived us badly on the last question. So I think I might just, I think I might go bad cop on this man. Because maybe that means, maybe this guy's an actor. And you got to do the opposite of what he's showing you. <laughs> Is standing around saying nothing? Is this some kind of mental torture? Oh, man. This man is really mad. We, we might get this wrong again. We might get this wrong again. All right, we're, we're going to go bad again. Let, let's see what happens. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Okay, so that time he talks to us. Maybe, maybe I got that one right. So the first one, we just blew it. The first one, we failed badly. All right, alibi for James... What is the alibi? What? Yeah, what is his alibi? Hmm. Let's see what he says. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Hmm. All right, so he's making the same faces as last time. The same, right? So he's lying, but last time I went bad cop and I got it wrong. So I might have to accuse here. So what do we accuse him with? Let's see. Missing ring, torn letter, movie lot, job. Lipstick on the body. It says Jameson. The book. That was that was near the bed, though, so probably not that. Store owner Robbins testifies that victim bought whiskey for a boy after an argument. And maybe it's that for a boy. So may maybe the boy, because that guy's young, he's 24. So I don't know. Maybe it's the liquor. We might have to do that, right? Because that liquor, the, the list of stuff was weird. You should let me go now. But maybe we'll use I've that. I've done nothing wrong. I, I guess so, because... We got deceived last time. We went bad cop. It wasn't right. So we're going to go ahead and do it. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and... I'm not lying. She got up and left. That was it. Ooh. All right. So now we're pushing those buttons. So here we go. This is the only thing we can possibly use. Right? For a boy. Here we go. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, you're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer. McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. All right, so he kicked her out, but that doesn't mean that he killed her. Interesting. Access to the murder weapon. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Well, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. 
All right, so he's once again, he's not calm. So he says he doesn't have a car, but he has access to it. And let's see. Hmm. Because that doesn't mean that it's his. Ah. Yeah, I don't really have any evidence that I, I guess I could accuse him with that, but we don't want to accuse if we don't know for sure. So I think this one will just go will go bad. So I don't think he's told the truth once, right? So I think we'll just go bad here. He's looking hella nervous. Here we go. Look at the feet. Oh, it's a perfect. It's a perfect placement. That is the best free throw line dunk yet. I'm not on the line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Off vert. No dribble. Just caught it and went. Just caught it and let it fly. 